I now call to order the 157th graduation of Palmer College of Chiropractics West Campus in San Jose, California on the 11th day of June, 2021. Dr. Elizabeth Moose, Palmer West Assistant Clinical Professor will present today's invocation. Graduates, congratulations. As we gather here today, it is important to reflect back on your journey with gratitude for the lessons that were learned and the relationships that were forged. It was with great perseverance and hours in the library that helped you get to this point. Now go forth into the world as strong leaders, guiding with intelligence, kindness, and, in, um, and as inspired thinkers, creatively th seeking positive changes and dedicated, and dedicated citizens and volunteers ready to work for justice as active members in your new community, ready to share your gifts to all. Thank you, Dr. Moose, and good afternoon and welcome to our, hi our hybrid virtual commencement ceremony for Palmer College of Chiropractic West 157th graduating class right here to my right. My name is Dr. Bill Meeker and I was a proud Palmer alumnus uh, of 1982 actually. It's been an honor to serve as a campus president for my alma mater since 2007. For the fifth quarter in a row, our graduation ceremony features a virtual format due to COVID and originates from the library at the Palmer West campus with one rather significant difference worthy of celebration perhaps today. And that is for the first time in over a year, we're able to have a graduating class join us here in, in person for the ceremony. And I'm very happy to have that happen because I, as I know they are as well. So for, for those of you out there in inter, internet land, uh, we are in our library. Um, I've got the graduating class to my right, to my left is a, uh, an array of administrators who will be speaking on the podium. And out in front of me, I see cameras and I see a screen where I can see various different things. It's all very confusing, but it seems to work as well as we can make it. So now students, we realized when you began this journey more than three years ago, we envisioned a very different ceremony to celebrate your completion of the program. And I share your disappointment that we're not able to provide a more traditional Palmer West graduation experience. However, thinking back to where we were over a year ago with the outset of the COVID outbreak, when the daily routines we once took for granted came to a screeching halt, and yet, thanks to the dedicated efforts of every member of the Palmer West community, here we are, no one has been delayed. It goes without saying that members of Palmer West 157th graduating class, they have navigated a uniquely challenging path to complete their journey from Palmer West student to Palmer West alumnus, which makes today's commencement much more than a ceremonial event to acknowledge the completion of their graduation requirements. Today, we celebrate your spirit, we celebrate your character, we celebrate your incredible, incredible perseverance in the face of epic adversity, culminating in the impressive achievement of your goal. You should take great pride in what you've accomplished. Before we proceed, I'd like to take a moment to pause and acknowledge the family and friends of today's graduating class and everyone watching today's ceremony via the Zoom broadcast. All those of you have, who have been impacted by the unprecedented COVID-19 crisis. At each graduation, we acknowledge the importance of the love and support that family and friends provide as our students complete their Palmer West experience. And believe me, that's an intensely rigorous journey to complete under the best of circumstances, let alone a worldwide pandemic. Having the loving support of spouses, partners, parents, and children has always provided an integral source of inspirational energy to help the members of each graduating class reach their goal. And given the unique path that today's class members have traveled, perhaps the love and support of family, friends, and relationship partners has never been more important, impactful, and appreciated. I'm sure you would agree. Let's give our family and friends a round of applause.
Today's ceremony is rightfully all about our graduates, but if you will, please permit me to take this opportunity to acknowledge that this is also a very special event for me as well. In fact, this will be my last graduation ceremony that I'll ever preside over as an official of Palmer College. I've lost count, but I've been involved in over 150 graduation ceremonies and presided as president in over 50. So nearly 42 years ago, after I entered the chiropractic profession, uh, I'll be retiring from Palmer at the end of this month. Um, it's, it's amazing for me to realize that my career spans nearly one third of the entire profession's history, a period of time during which chiropractic has experienced tremendous growth and scientific credibility to become one of the major go-to professions for disorders of the neuromusculoskeletal system. The time has gone very, very quickly, but seeing so many young people become successful doctors of chiropractic uh, is personally fulfilling to me. I leave Palmer feeling thankful and blessed for the pleasure and privilege of getting to work with so many passionate colleagues who share a common vision for this provision. And I thank you very much for that opportunity. As the primary healthcare professionals for spinal health and well being, chiropractors are well positioned to serve as the health and wellness ambassadors, best suited to help people achieve and maintain optimal health and wellness through our unique focus which as the chiropractic profession has acknowledged for more than a century, comes from a patient-centered approach that emphasizes health creation and disease prevention. And these are now very timely discussions and issues. A recent column in the Los Angeles Times written by a former chief executive of Kaiser, who now teaches at Stanford University stated, consider that nearly two thirds of patients hospitalized with COVID had at least one comorbid chronic disease such as obesity, diabetes, hypertension, and heart failure. In critical care units, doctors pulled many of these patients back from the brink of death. But if American physicians had dedicated more time and energy toward preventing and better managing these types of chronic diseases in the first place, tens of thousands wouldn't have needed hospitalization in the first place, and many would not have passed away. So practicing and, pro and, and promoting preventive care measures while empowering our patients in a process has served as the backbone of the chiropractic paradigm um, for over 125 years. Current examples include the, the delivery of care to employer funded health centers that are expanding well beyond Silicon Valley, the ongoing expansion of care for our active and retired members of the military at VA and DOD centers throughout the country, and the growing number of multidisciplinary practices where chiropractic is routinely a key part of the service mix and very often the one that's most sought after, in fact. The healthcare environment into which today's graduating class is about to enter is far different from the one that I entered uh, in my classmates when we graduated in 1982. Uh, even the most optimistic members of my class could not have envisioned seeing the pace at which pathways to care that once excluded our profession now routinely include chiropractic and this is the right thing. Graduating skilled doctors to serve their patients as the primary healthcare professionals for spinal health and well-being requires outstanding instructors. And Palmer West faculty, day in and day out, provide the highest learning experience to help our students achieve their career goals. During the past 15 months, our faculty has elevated their commitment to academic excellence and degree of student dedication, of student dedication to a whole new level. Um, Transitioning to virtual classroom instruction and adapting patient care protocols to meet COVID related protocols required support from every member of our campus community. And this was done successfully and at great speed. Before we proceed more, I'd like to acknowledge two members of the West faculty and administration for their service to Palmer as, a, as they prepare to transition to new chapters of their lives, just like I am. Dr. Kyle Prusso was born to the West faculty in 2012. Since then, he managed patient care and supervised interns as one of our mentor clinicians. And then he was promoted to director of clinics. For the past two years, he was our dean of clinics. Uh, concurrent with his duties at the college, he also served as the team chiropractor for the former Oakland Raiders, as well as president of the professional chiropractic, uh, excuse me, professional football chiropractic society. And I'd like to take this opportunity to, to acknowledge his time as a member of our community, and in particular for his guidance of the Palmer West Clinics uh, during the COVID outbreak last year. Let's give him a round of applause, please. Thanks. 
I'd also like to acknowledge another member of our faculty who is concluding her teaching tenure at Palmer West after 37 years of distinguished service. Dr. Susan St. Clair is a 1984 Palmer West graduate who was appointed to our faculty that same year. During the nearly four decades that have followed, Dr. St. Clair has impacted all phases of the Palmer West student experience, from classroom instruction to mentoring interns and supervising patient care in the clinics. With two diplomates in the field of nutrition, Dr. St. Clair has presented at numerous postgraduate seminars and conferences, been published in numerous chiropractic journals and texts, and she's played an important role in helping prospective students recognize the value of a Palmer education. Since this quarter, marks the conclusion of Dr. Clara's distinguished tenure as a member of the Palmer West faculty, I want to take this opportunity to recognize her collective contributions and formally thank her for the years of dedicated service to Palmer West in the chiropractic profession. Let's give her a round of applause. Thanks. And finally, because this is the last public opportunity I will have to do this, I would like to acknowledge and personally thank two staff members for their dedicated work behind the scenes. Denise Miller, my executive assistant, has been organizing these ceremonies for over five years, and she is leaving Palmer at the end of today, actually, for a new opportunity. Thank you very much, Denise. You've done a great job. And I have to thank Chuck Bastillos, the person who's been writing our graduation scripts for, for several decades now, Chuck, you've been writing these, these scripts, and he's done a great job. And he's the one taking photos today. Thanks, Chuck, for your enthusiastic support of Palmer West over the years. Thanks very much for that. Now back again to the members of our graduating class. Please accept my personal congratulations for having the altruism, the foresight, and the common sense to join the chiropractic profession. Now, as you prepare to take this next step in your careers, and transition from student to doctor to join our profession's largest alumni network, I encourage you to do so embracing the spirit of optimism that has fueled your passion and perseverance at every step of this journey. I know it's not been easy. And as I, as I conclude my final commencement as president of Palmer West Campus, I can state unequivocally that about today's class, they will make a difference, they will change lives, and they will make the world a better place every day in many, many ways. So to the graduates again, stay focused and vigilant in the pursuit of your, of your career goals. Remain guided by the original ideals that inspired you to pursue a healthcare careers at Dr. Chiropractic in the first place, and you'll do fine. So now let me introduce Dr. Snow, Palmer West Dean of Academic Affairs, who will now recognize the valedictorian and salutatorian of Palmer West 157th graduating class. However, before we proceed, I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge that effective July 1st, Dr. Snow will assume direct administrative oversight of the entire West Campus in the dual role, because he's that good, of Senior Campus Administrator and Dean of Academic Affairs. During my tenure here, Dr. Snow has served as the Dean of Academic Affairs and the Dean of Clinics, uh, demonstrating equal excellence in each role. And I want to thank him in advance for expanding his scope of duties during this period of transition on the West Campus. And I can tell you, I'm 100% confident that he will continue to advance the college's mission at Palmer West with the same level of dedication, energy, and distinction, and distinction that has defined his three decades of service to Palmer and the chiropractic profession. So thank you, Dr. Snow, for taking on that role. And continuing with our proceedings, he will now acknowledge the top two graduates of today's graduating class. Please welcome Dr. Snow. Thank you, Dr. Meeker, for those kind words and for your support. They mean a lot to me. I'm honored, humbled, and excited to step into the leadership role at the West Campus. And I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you, Dr. Meeker, for your 40 years of service to Palmer College and the profession. In particular, thank you for the profound positive influence that you've had on the West Campus and for being a pioneer for chiropractic research and interprofessional collaboration. You leave a strong legacy in your wake and very big shoes to fill. We wish you all the best and we will miss you. 
All right, on to the academic awards. BJ Palmer, the developer of the chiropractic profession, often stated that chiropractic is head, heart, and hands. BJ recognized that doctors of chiropractic must use their head, heart, and hands to master the science, art, and philosophy of chiropractic to best care for their patients. We now present a series of awards in recognition of the ideals these three words represent for the chiropractic profession. The head is recognized through a series of awards acknowledging the academic achievements of students who have excelled throughout the course of their educational experience. The heart is recognized through the Virgil String Philosophy Award for a student's passion and philosophy of chiropractic. And the Hands Award or Clinical Excellence Award honors a student's outstanding patient care delivery. I have the honor of beginning the ceremony by recognizing the members of today's class who have achieved the highest academic awards, the valedictorian and salutatorian. Our honorees have already received their meritorious medallions and are proudly wearing them for today's ceremony. Would you please join me in honoring the one, the valedictorian of the 157th graduating class, Caitlin Dick. And now let's offer our congratulations to the salutatorian, Ainsley, Ainsley the Tease. Congratulations again to both Caitlin and Ainsley for your excellent work uh, in the academic realm and uh, very good job. Congrats. Dr. Brian Nook, Palmer West Associate Dean of Academic Affairs will now acknowledge members of today's graduating class who have achieved academic honors. Thank you, Dr. Snow. The college would like to now recognize the members of the 157th graduating class who have distinguished themselves during their educational experience at Palmer College's West Campus by graduating with academic honors. Members of the class who have achieved academic honors receive gold cords to wear with their graduation gowns. They've also presented with a special purple cord, which signifies their induction into the Pi Tau Delta International Chiropractic Honor Society, the oldest and most distinguished honor society in chiropractic education. To receive this recognition, students must earn a cumulative GPA of at least 3.5 upon completion of the program. The doctor of chiropractic curriculum is long, regular, rigorous, and very challenging. Those students who are able to navigate it while maintaining a high GPA are commended for this achievement. We now proceed with the announcements of those uh, graduating with these honors. Graduating with summa cum laude and Pi Tau Delta honors today are Caitlin Dick. Ainsley Batiste. Graduating with Magnum Cum Laude and Pi Tau Delta honors is Justin Martinson. Graduating with Cum Laude and Pi Tau Delta honors are Jackson, Jackson Bates. And Kevin Taft. Congratulations, graduates. Well done.
And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's my uh, honor to hand out the Presidential Scholar Awards. The Presidential Scholar Award is presented to members of the graduating class who have displayed the highest level of academic achievement. And get this, by making the Dean's List with a GPA of 3.5 or above in each and every one of the 13 quarters that comprise the Palmer West curriculum. Uh, due to these high standards, the Presidential Scholar Award is a uniquely impressive achievement and an honor that we don't routinely present at every graduation. So I take great pride in recognizing today two members of this class and the first honoree for the, Presiden for the Presidential Scholar Award is Caitlin Dick. And this is the award she'll be able to pick up a little bit later. Thank you, Kaylee. And the second individual is Ainsley Batiz. Also receiving a plaque. Great work, both of you. Thank you very much. And I also, I also have the honor of making the presentation of the Virgil V. Strang uh, Philosophy Award. Um, this honors the memory of Dr. Virgil V. Strang, a longtime Palmer College Davenport professor and its seventh president. Dr. Strang has a unique and honored place in Palmer College history. His long and distinguished career spanned nearly 50 years as a chiropractic philosopher, an anatomist, a teacher, humanitarian, and a practitioner. I'm proud to say that um, Dr. Strang was a mentor to me personally, a colleague, and most important, a friend. He was equally respected by students and colleagues for so passionately exemplifying the philosophy, commitment, logic, and reasoning of the practice of chiropractic. So today we salute the Virgil B. Strang Award recipient for the spring 2021 graduating class, Jackson Bates. Jackson. Jackson will receive this plaque right here, also later. Jackson, congratulations. Thank you very much. And now, our next awards recognize outstanding clinical achievements and, and are presented by our Dean of Clinics. So in my final commencement as campus president, it's actually my distinct honor to, to introduce for the first time, Palmer West brand new Dean of Clinics, Dr. Tammy Clark. During her two plus decades as a member of the Palmer West faculty, Dr. Clark has played an instrumental role in helping students prepare for the internship phase of the Palmer West experience. So she's very well positioned to take over the clinic. And I'm sure she will excel in her new role as a member of the campus leadership team. Um, I want to congratulate Dr. Clark on her well-deserved appointment. And she will now come up and acknowledge members of Palmer West class who've participated in the college's DOD VA student rotation followed by the announcement of today's Clinical Excellence Award honorees. Please welcome Dr. Tammy Clark. Put that somewhere. Um, thank you, Dr. Maker. I really appreciate that introduction. In addition to our campus-based clinics, Palmer College provides supplemental opportunities for our interns to expand their patient care skills via participation in off-campus preceptorships and other special programs. Palmer's Department of Defense Veterans Affairs Student Rotation Program provides the unique opportunity for senior level interns to serve our nation's active military and our retired veterans while gaining valuable clinical, in, clinical experience in an interdisciplinary environment. Chiropractic services were introduced to the VA health system as a pilot program in 1999. As the demand for care increased, so did the number of VA locations that provide chiropractic care, driven largely by veterans seeking non-pharmaceutical alternatives to finding relief for chronic pain. The VA health system now maintains more than 150 chiropractic clinics staffed by over 225 chiropractors which has enabled nearly 300,000 individual veterans to receive station-based chiropractic care. We're proud to note that multiple Palmer alumni have played significant roles in expanding the availability of care, 
including Dr. Anthony Lisi, who has served as the VA's chiropractic program director for the past 17 years while providing care at the VA Healthcare Center in Connecticut, and Dr. Robert Walsh, who in 2015 became the first chiropractor appointed to the medical staff at the VA Healthcare Center in Palo Alto. Dr. Walsh now manages a team of six other chiropractors, which include fellow Palmer alumnus, Dr. Alex Schulke, who like Dr. Walsh is also, are also members of the Palmer West faculty. I would like to recognize members of today's graduating class for their distinguished participation in Palmer's DOD VA student rotation program. And they include Caitlin Dick and Jackson Bates. Congratulations to each of our spring 21 program participants for your service. And as a proud mom of an active duty sailor in the US Navy, um, I extend my personal gratitude to both of you for your service to our, to our veteran community. So thank you, sorry about that. All right, anyways, and now with, with no further tears, um, on to the presentation of the Clinical Excellence Award. So after two intense and often exhausting years of training, our students transition from an academic education to clinical education. In the clinic, today's graduates learn to apply the acquired skills and knowledge to the care of our community of patients. This progression from student to doctor is one of the most rewarding processes to witness. At each graduation, we present the Clinical Excellence Award. This award recognizes the member of today's graduating class who has exemplified what, what's expected of a student intern during their year long clinical internship. Before I announce today's award honoree, I would like to briefly describe the selection process. Nominations are accepted from our clinical team of full-time and part-time faculty. These are candidates whom our clinicians have, have determined or feel have demonstrated excellence with patient evaluation and diagnosis, chiropractic technique and procedures, diagnostic imaging, case management, professionalism, and service to our clinic community. Our clinic team then deliberates and discusses each nominee to determine the award recipient, which is not an easy task as often there are multiple candidates deserving of such recognition. Before we present today's Clinical Excellence Award, I'd like to recognize the nominees who include Olivia Andres, Caitlin Dick, Alex Green, Justin Martinson, Brandon Nissen, and Ainsley Vatisse. And the Clinical Excellence Honoree for Palmer West Spring 2021 graduating class is Olivia Andres. Congratulations, Olivia, and to each of our Clinical Excellence nominees for a job well done. Erin Hallahan, Vice President of the Palmer West Associated Student Government, will now present special awards on behalf of the ASG. Thank you, Dr. Clark. Good afternoon. I know today looks a little different than we are used to, both pre and post COVID grads. But if you ask me, it's really exciting that we do get to be here in this room together with this graduating class. As a Palmer community, we have weathered the 16 month storm of the COVID-19 pandemic. This class especially has persevered through, the time, through this time during a very crucial part of the program. Right as the first lockdowns hit, this class was set to embark on a new journey in student clinic. They missed their entire ninth quarter in the student clinic and half of their 10th quarter where they should have been in outpatient clinic. But in true Palmer fashion, this class came out of lockdown, guns blazing, and dove in headfirst into the outpatient clinic. 
they didn't skip a beat. All 18 of them navigated through their accelerated clinical experience with absolute ease. They definitely left a mark on Palmer and definitely in the clinic. I gotta say the interim workroom is awfully quiet these days. <laughs> Be without the hoots and hollers of this class playing cards, ping pong and foosball between patients. Today I'm speaking on behalf of the student body here at Palmer and offering sincere congratulations to you all. You made it through a rigorous program with even more speed bumps along the way. You should all be very proud of yourselves. I'm here today to present the student service awards to those who served as ASG officers as during their time here at Palmer. Typically, the speech is given by our student government president, Sammy Pena. When I was first selected as vice president um, for student government last July, I asked Sammy if I could give this one particular speech for two good reasons. These two gals are not only two of my best friends, but have been my biggest cheerleaders, mentors, and inspiration going through this program. Being six months behind them has had its perks for me, i.e. they go through everything first and prep me for what's to come. But honestly, they didn't do it for just me. They would and did do it for so many of us at Palmer. So it really was an honor to get to speak here today at your grad. Before COVID, these two were a household name. I don't think there were many students or faculty who didn't know who Caitlin and Ainsley were. And yes, it's always Caitlin and Ainsley. They are and were a package deal. <laughs> so it was no surprise that when the elections were coming up in 2019, both Caitlin and Ainsley were running for student government. They were also the ones who convinced me to run, not once, but twice, and here I am two years later. <laughs> if you've ever been hassled by either of these two girls, you know they can be very convincing. Both Caitlin and Ainsley were heavily involved in the student body during their time. Caitlin served as a class rep before taking over her position on the ASG, and Ainsley was a tutor and part of Campus Guides all through her time here. Together, they revived our soft tissue club and ran that until it was time to pass the torch. Anyone, no matter what quarter, could always count on these two for advice on how to pass a test, get help with mastering an adjustment, or simply get a pep talk or a talk off a ledge before entering into a practical exam. And I am speaking from personal experience. So the first student service award is for Caitlin Dick, ASG Secretary 2019 to 2020. Caitlin ran countless ASG meetings, took the world's greatest notes, and honestly kept the entire team in line and things running smoothly for her entire term. The second student service award is for Ainsley Batiste, ASG Community Service Director 2019 to 2020. <laughs> Ainsley organized four on-campus blood drives, therapy dogs during lab finals, a wildly successful backpack and school supplies drive, and a Christmas Adopt-A-Family fundraiser to help those in need around the holidays. Thank you both for everything you did for this community and the students of Palmer. The next award I will be presenting is the ASG Fellowship Award. This award is really special as it is voted upon by your entire class. The fellowship award honors the person in the graduating class who has demonstrated commitment to the class and to the profession. This award is a reminder that your hard work, commitment and passion has not gone, un gone unrecognized. The word fellowship means someone who can provide for their community, establish genuine relationships and a person, this person has done just that. This individual worked tirelessly through her multiple club involvements and many roles on campus. She has a bubbly personality, a contagious laugh, and an overall presence about her. You always know when she is around. She gives sound advice, heavy doses of sarcasm, and has even been a reliable shoulder for many to cry on. She's always up for a celebration, no matter how big or small the reason is to celebrate. She's a wonderful friend to many, and she is a gosh darn great chiropractor. She is going to be a wonderful addition to the chiropractic profession and Canada is lucky to have her. It gives me great pleasure to present this year's fellowship award to Ainsley Batiste. Let me cry. <gasps> okay, I didn't, I did it. I said I wouldn't cry. Okay. Campus Guides President Isaiah Gabara will now acknowledge members of today's graduating class who served as Palmer West Campus Guides.
Good afternoon, everyone. As Aaron mentioned, my name is Isaiah, and I am the president of Campus Guides. The Campus Guides are some of the very first faces that prospective students and their families meet when they visit Palmer West. These days, it happens to be virtually. These guides dedicate their time to help many students find their way to Palmer to begin their chiropractic journey and continue that help as they mentor all incoming students when they start the program. Today, I am excited to be recognizing one graduate for their outstanding and undoubtedly memorable service to Palmer West as Campus Guides. As you can gather by now, this guide definitely had her hand in quite a bit while being at Palmer. Maybe it's the Gemini in you. I definitely went back and forth on the style of speech I was going to prepare. I went from wanting to rap, but then realized it was too hard. Then I thought about singing, but realized it only sounds good in the shower. But then I remembered you are Canadian and you have to sit in front of everyone today. So I figured I would go with the choice of the style of a Justin Bieber roast. Just kidding, this can't all be about you. As a natural social butterfly, you were involved in so much, but you had a secret passion for this group that you would never really admit out loud, but I always knew. There was never a time that I could recall that when I would ask for help that she would say no, just because she was busy or studying for one of our 5,698 tests, plus or minus one. There is such a true fun spirit, leadership quality and cheerleader quality about you. But with that, so many of the guys always looked up to you. I had the honor to be able to work alongside you for my entire time here, and I am very grateful for all that you did. Today is such a big day for you, and I couldn't be happier. And today, you truly are going to do what Miley Cyrus said she did, party in the USA. So on behalf of all the campus guides, fist bump to you, and congratulations, Ainsley, and thank you for all you did for us. All right, it is now time for the valedictorian address. Please join me in welcoming Caitlin Dick. All right. <laughs> On behalf of the 157th class of Palmer College of Chiropractic West, I would like to thank everyone who's here, both physically and virtually, to celebrate this graduating class. Thank you to the faculty and staff who worked hard to make it possible to have this partially in-person gra uh, graduation after a really long year. I'm also grateful to be giving this in person and not just to my computer screen. To the faculty who have mentored us uh, these three last three and a quarter years, thank you for bringing your passion, knowledge, and patience every day, regardless of whether or not we quieted down pretty quickly or not. Um, to the family and Friends who are watching here today, you are all the reason we have made it here. Your love, support, and guidance have shaped each and every one of us and will continue to direct our futures as healthcare professionals. Also, how could I forget to give a huge thank you to our class rep, Ina Flores, for your persistence and tireless effort to get us to respond to any and all emails and texts, and it was nothing short of hurting cats. My fellow graduates, we can finally say that we made it. I'm honored to be standing up here representing you as we take the next step forward. As a small class, we, took, we spent every single day together, surviving the minimum of 40 hours a week um, at school with countless tests, quizzes, and physical and mental breakdowns. These were all made a little bit lighter with numerous jokes, games, laps around school, with or without a rock, uh, and um, group chats and any weekends by the pool. There were also jobs, seminars, clubs, weddings, and a multitude of other commitments that added to our plates. Each graduate here has worked tireless, tirelessly to become the best that they can for themselves and for their future patients. From the first day of philosophy, where we sounded off about what brought us to chiropractic and to Palmer, each and every one of us have come into our own. The difficult, dense, and test-laden curriculum gave us the base of knowledge needed to become the individual chiropractors here today, each with our own strengths and interests within chiropractic. I'm so grateful for these individuals and collective expertise that we have moving forward. And I know that I can and will reach out to any and all of you guys for any questions on patient care in the future. 
And just as we started the new venture coming into Palmer, we start another one as doctors of chiropractic. We have all learned the last few years that growth takes on many forms, grief, joy, heartbreak, success, and those that you surround yourselves with. That growth won't stop here, but will continue well into our professional years. My hope is that you find what you love within chiropractic and use that to better the lives of your patients. I hope that you find the fun within each encounter and use that to continue building on the path that you're all on. Thank you for becoming the family that I never knew or thought that I would have. And congratulations to the 157th graduating class. I look forward to all of your future successes and achievements. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. Congratulations for a job well done. I thought you all might be interested to know, uh, particularly those of you that are actually in person here, that we have nearly 130 people online watching this ceremony today. So it's, uh, it's a pretty good sized crowd out there. It's hard to feel in this somewhat empty room here, but I'm so happy to have you all online out there watching this ceremony today. So we applaud you. Thank you very much for being here. Our commencement to speaker today is Dr. Tammy Clark. We've already introduced Dr. Clark as our new Dean of Clinics, but a little bit more about her as our commencement speaker. She's a 1994 valedictorian alum of Palmer West. She's maintained a San Jose-based practice for 26 years with her husband, a, a fellow West graduate, Dr. Dan Clark. Um, and her multifaceted commitment to the chiropractic, chiropractic profession expanded in 1998 when she was appointed to the Palmer West faculty she currently holds the rank of professor and serves as our coordinator of curriculum. In her current position, Dr. Clark also coordinates the clinical competency exams that assess the skills of our students to different points of the Palmer West curriculum to measure their progress and ensure proper proficiencies in their development as future doctors. The fact that Palmer grads have the lowest default rate among all chiropractic colleges at a figure nearly a quarter of the average for national four-year colleges is a strong indicator of success. And another example of Palmer's leadership in chiropractic education, thanks in part to the skilled faculty at each Palmer campus who share Dr. Clark's commitment to, the clinical, to clinical excellence. For the past nine years, Dr. Clark has also provided volunteer chiropractic care at health fair events for inmates at San Quentin Prison. Other examples of her philanthropic spirit include her volunteer clinical missions with Impact, Impact Laos to provide humanitarian service in remote underprivileged areas of Southeast Asia. And she also has provided similar humanitarian chiropractic care in underprivileged areas of Tijuana and Rosarito, Mexico. During the 2018 firestorms that raged through different parts of Northern California, she joined teams of other Palmer alumni to provide volunteer care for firefighters and first responders who are battling the blazes. And today I know that she will speak from the heart to members of today's graduating class as they transition from students to doctors. So it's my distinct honor to introduce today's commencement speaker. Again, Dr. Tammy Clark, please welcome her. Thank you again, Dr. Meeker. Now I'll try to do this without crying. So I am both, there we go. <laughs> I am both humbled and excited to step into the role of Dean of Clinics. It's truly an honor to be working more closely with such an amazing team of clinicians and clinic staff. And I look forward to seeing our interns continue to grow and learn as they provide exceptional care to our patients. I'd like to give a special shout out to my predecessor in this position, Dr. Kyle Prusso. His leadership as Dean of Clinics, along with the entire administrative team, helped to successfully guide our college and our clinic through the challenges presented by COVID. He definitely leaves big shoes for me to try to fill. As Dr. Meeker mentioned, Dr. Prusso could not be here today because his son is graduating from high school today, but he asked me to extend his heartfelt congratulations to all of you. And please allow me to also take a moment to personally recognize you, Dr. Meeker, 
for your many years of service to the profession, to Palmer, and for your years as president of Palmer West. It's truly been a privilege to have worked under your leadership, and I wish you all the best in the next chapter of your life. So now, let's fully turn our attention to this graduating class, to this new generation of chiropractors. I want to thank all of you as well. I'm humbled that you'd asked me to participate in this milestone celebration that marks your final transition to becoming a doctor. You've all been required to sit through a number of my lectures as students, and I really do appreciate you giving me the opportunity to speak to you formally one more time. As I was thinking about what I could possibly say with you or say to you at this significant moment in your lives, there were two seemingly unrelated words that kept popping into my mind. These two words were resilience and legacy. When I look at all of you, what I see is a diverse group of individuals that have faced unimaginable and at times seemingly insurmountable challenges on your path to becoming doctors. As a generation, you have lived through a lifetime of global upheaval, economic uncertainty, and political and social unrest. You are forced to forge through your education and your clinical experience at an unprecedented time in history as the entire world faced a public health crisis of pandemic proportions. Just as your group was on the doorstep of your clinical experience, we all had to pivot on a dime and turn a hands-on educational program into a top-notch virtual curriculum. Our clinic was forced to temporarily shut down and then try to figure out how to reopen following every new safety guideline so that we can continue to provide essential health care to our patients. None of that was what you expected when you started your education. And yet as a group, you rarely complained and you exhibited, exhibited cooperative flexibility in the face of constant change. Despite it all, here you are today, sitting on the very cusp of the culmination of your hard work and your dreams. Yes, resilience does indeed seem to feel like a fitting word to describe this bunch. But I decided that we should explore the concept of resilience a little further. I decided that a good place to begin digging deeper would be to look up the actual definition of the word resilience. What I found was that resilience is defined as the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties, toughness. I immediately thought that is definitely true of this group of individuals that we see sitting here before us today. You all embody the capacity to recover quickly from difficulties. As evidenced by the fact that you are sitting here right now, you have certainly bounced in the face of a very difficult and disruptive period. But I noticed that the definition included another word, toughness. It made me wonder, what's the definition of the word toughness? So I decided to look that up too. What I found is that toughness is defined as the state of being strong enough to withstand adverse conditions or the ability to deal with hardship or to cope with difficult situations requiring determination and effort. In my interpretation of these definitions, resilience is more of an attitude, a state of being. Toughness is putting that attitude to action. When you put those two things together, resilience combined with toughness, what I'm left with is all of you. I think another way that this has been said is that we are not defined by how many times we stumble or how many times life pushes us down. What defines us is how many times we can find the fortitude or resilience necessary to muster the strength or the toughness to get back up again. That resilience and toughness will undoubtedly carry you through the next chapters of your lives as you journey forward into your futures as healers. In a healthcare system, that seems to separate patients into pieces and parts, you will promote a holistic and personal form of care. You will champion the cause of those who have no voice, and you will be an advocate for your patients as they navigate an increasingly confusing healthcare system. You will sit with your patients and you will explain lab or x-ray findings that no one else took the time to explain. You will motivate your patients with a message of hope, and you will treat your patients in a way that will facilitate function despite their pain and infirmaries. And in all of this, you will find your purpose. 
But as I mentioned earlier, there was another word that kept popping into my mind when I thought about speaking with you this afternoon, and that word is legacy. This afternoon, as you sit through your commencement ceremony, you are about to join the ranks of a long legacy of Palmer West graduates that have gone before you. As you face your futures, I thought it might be fitting to share a little bit of Palmer history, Palmer West history with you from my perspective. Almost exactly 30 years ago, I had made the decision to become a chiropractor and was trying to decide which college to attend. I had looked at a few chiropractic colleges, including what was then LACC, as well as Palmer Davenport. Then I decided to check out Palmer West. At that time, the college was located in a repurposed elementary school in Sunnyvale. At first glance, I felt a sense of almost embarrassment. Could I really be considering going to graduate school at a place where kindergartners once played? But it was there that I encountered some of the most amazing minds in the profession. What you also need to know is that was only a few years after the profession had won the groundbreaking and now historic Wilkes antitrust suit against the AMA. During that time, the chiropractic profession was winning the fight for our rightful place in the healthcare, healthcare arena. But we were going to have to validate our fight with research and evidence to prove how great we knew we were. What I found at Palmer West in the summer of 1991 was a group of ambitious movers and shakers with contagious enthusiasm and rebellious passion who were not afraid to challenge the status quo and I knew that I was in the perfect place. You all know some of the champions of the profession that I'm talking about. We've all been privileged to stand on the shoulders of these giants. Dr. Meeker is one of them. Dr. Souza, Dr. DeMontier, Dr. Milas, Dr. Cooperstein, Dr. Feinberg, Dr. St. Clair, and Dr. Lucock. There was also some other young new talent just getting their start teaching about the same time that I started as a student at Palmer West. Seems like a long time ago. But that was Dr. Snow, Dr. Musabi, Dr. Davis, Dr. Lundberg, Dr. Rainey Cook, Dr. Lawson Hens. They were all getting their start right about the same time. And through it all, Chuck Bastillos has always been there as the memory keeper. It was also during this time that our sports council began. Students were becoming politically active. Palmer West was pumping out research at a feverish pace. We moved our campus from Sunnyvale. We moved up to a former junior high in Santa Clara. And finally, to our campus here in San Jose. The profession was also quickly evolving from the fringes of healthcare to complementary and alternative medicine, and now to mainstream healthcare. Evidence-informed clinical practice has now become the standard of the profession. As you graduate today, you are joining the ranks of a resilient profession, and you have become a part of the greater legacy that is Palmer. But you have also proven that you have what it takes to join the legacy of this resilient and tough little tribe that will always be Palmer West. I have no doubt that I stand here today in the face of the next generation of chiropractic champions. I'm proud to call you my colleagues. Now, bounce and shine. Thank you, Dr. Clark, for those inspiring and insightful words and for making me feel old. <sighs> Dr. Meeker and audience, it is my honor to present the 157th graduating class of Palmer College of Chiropractic's West Campus for the conferral of the Doctor of Chiropractic degree. Ladies and gentlemen, on upon recommendation of the Dean, Faculty and Graduation Committee, and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Palmer College of Chiropractic and the State of California, I hereby confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Chiropractic and all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining therein. 
So now, Dr. Elizabeth Moose, Palmer West Assistant Professor, will read the names of the graduates as they come up here to receive their diploma, which I will hand to them. And just to remind you folks, you are then to then turn around and face the cameras, <laughs> all right? So that the audience can get a good look at you with your diploma and we'll be taking a photo and then you go back to your seats, okay? So, Dr. Moose. Caitlin Ellen Dick. Ainsley Ann Batiste. <laughs> Olivia Andres. Jackson Carlton Bates. John Allen Felicidi. Riley W. Branistetter. Sean Choi. Anu Dillon. Nina Janica Flores. Alexander Ito Green. Antioco Hidalgo. I'm sorry, I messed that way up. That was bad. <laughs> so sorry, Tioco. Avinash Kakodi. <laughs> Justin Kang Lore. Justin Ryan Martinson. Juliana Marie Oates. Robert M. Rankin. Kevin James Taft. Okay, class. Now it's time to take the chiropractic oath. All right. So, would you please stand? And please repeat after me. In accordance with the chiropractic principles of the art, science, and philosophy, of and philosophy of chiropractic. And in consequence of my dedication, of my dedication for the restoration of the sick to health, the sick to health I promise and swear to keep to the best of my ability and judgment, 
the following oath. I, and repeat your name, will adhere to the code of ethics, espoused by the chiropractic profession. I will observe and practice professional conduct in relations with my patients, my colleagues, myself and my profession. I will seek to preserve the integrity of my profession and help it to grow in service to the benefit of all humanity. I will serve my patients to the best of my ability, violating neither their confidence nor their dignity. And in my association with these patients, I shall not violate that which is moral and right. I will provide regimen for the good of my patients according to my ability and my judgment. I will regard and refer to my fellow doctors with honor and dignity, giving credit for their dedication and commitment to the profession. I will continue to improve my knowledge and skill and be sincere in my resolution to justify the responsibility, to justify the responsibility. Which, this degree which this degree symbolizes and imposes. Symbolizes and, imposes. and I have the privilege of saying one final time for me, will the students of the 157th class of Palmer College of Chiropractic West change your tassels? Congratulations, doctors. Now, you know, when we're in a really large auditorium and we had, you know, hundreds of people that we can actually see, I would say, no, we need to do that again with a little more energy. Okay, let's do it one more time with a little more energy. All right. Okay. Welcome, colleagues. It's great to have you on board. Fantastic to have you part of our profession. This concludes our hybrid, virtual, slash whatever, uh, commencement for the 9th, 157th graduating class at Palmer College of Chiropractic West Campus. On behalf of the administration, the faculty, staff, and the students at Palmer West Campus, congratulations. Once again, to our uh, spring 2021 graduates on a job well done. Enjoy your celebration. Enjoy your day. It's a beautiful day. And thank you very much for everyone that has attended today. All the best. <laughs>